President of the Santa Clara County Board of Education. I'm here at the Cesar Chavez annual march commemorating his birthday. It's a beautiful turnout here. It's a beautiful crowd. There's a lot of culture, appreciation of who we are here in East San Jose. As you can see here to the left of me, we have wonderful artists here who have been here for decades entertaining our community. We have familia around us. We have children. We have activists. Everyone has turned out today to commemorate Cesar Chavez's birthday as we do annually and also to celebrate the release of the new film, Cesar Chavez. It's a great day and I'm really proud to be here. The strength to come out and support this event. Rain or shine, we're going to be here every year. No le hace, it doesn't matter. So um, I just want to welcome you all and, in, and let you know that the, the band that's playing is Conjunto Libertad. They are uh, longtime supporters. So we're going to let them play a couple of more songs and then we have some introductions and then we're going to get ready to go and do the march. Se puede? Oh, I think you need another cup of coffee. Se puede? Ahora, eh, seguro que sí. Conjunto Libertad. Neighborhood, like Sal Si Puede, leave if you can, which is where Cesar grew up, just a short distance from here, to the spirit of Si Se Puede. And if we do that, then we can get comprehensive immigration reform, we can change the direction of this city, and we can elect great leaders like, like Javier Campos over here to the city council. Spirit of Si Se Puede, I say we march today. Si Se Puede! This woman's been awesome. She is uh, just fantastic. She currently sits on the Board of Supervisors. Her name is Cindy Chavez and she's my cousin by osmosis. Please welcome Cindy Chavez. Alright! So one thing I wanted to say is I, how many of you have seen the movie already? So I was there on Thursday with my son and I was telling him this is our heritage, right? But this march is a further expression of our heritage, our commitment, not just to each other here, but to our brothers and sisters who were pulling out of the fields and making what they're doing there a more respected and respectful way of work. So today is very exciting because we get to do that in the public. We get to tell everybody we are proud both of who we are and what we know this country can be. And because of that, I'm particularly excited that we have so many candidates here. So I wanted to make sure, and all the downtown candidates, which are the I don't know, the cool ones. And so we have Raul Perales that's standing back here. And I saw George Clyden. I don't know where George is, but I, so I saw George. And um, Mauricio Mejia. And, and what I wanted to tell all of you is this is where we need to see our folks, right? If they're not here, you need to send them a note saying, you know, where were you? Like, let's remind people that this is an important event for all of us. So I'm excited to be with all of you today, and let's enjoy it. And I don't think it's going to rain on our parade. So another council member who, you know, is, is with us every time 
there's anything that comes to the to the council, he's always stand by us. Please welcome my brother from another mother, Ashkara. Once again, uh, marching with all of you. As I've mentioned before, the, the message and the story of Cesar Chavez is very close to my heart. Uh, especially since my family is from India, I learned from a very young age about Mahatma Gandhi and the nonviolence movement. And to see how Cesar Chavez here uh, in, in my hometown, in my home state, uh, really changed the future for so many working people using a philosophy that, as Gandhi said, has been around for, for millennia. It's been around since the mountaintops. Uh, it is so impactful. And you know, we march certainly in memory of Cesar Chavez and all those that march side by side with him. Uh, but we don't just march in their memory. We march because we still have a lot to fight for. We, have, we march so that we don't forget not just where we came from, but that we have a long way to go. Here in Silicon Valley, with companies that have billions of dollars, we have to fight to make sure that our children have food on the table. We have to fight for decent jobs and wages. So let's keep fighting. And when we march, we know that we march for dignity, for justice, for equality. Whether it rains or not, we know that those values are waterproof. You can't soak any of those values. And so I just hope that we march today, but we don't forget every single day of the year, those who stand for justice, stand for equality, that we make sure we hold those accountable, whether it be in City Hall, in Sacramento, or in DC. Not just pay lip service to Cesar Chavez and on one day a year say, oh, thank you, Cesar Chavez. But every day of the year, stand up for his values and stand up for working people. Stand up for all of us to make sure that every single one of us can raise our children in a community that they're supported. Can we do that? Say, <laughs> where that? Cesar and Cesar would go and stay at their house and he, they would feed him a very small union to a national, international uh, person that people that had an impact. They then continued that legacy working as public servants. He's an awesome, awesome Chavista del Hueso Colorado that's to the bone. Please welcome Javier Campos. Joy to my heart seeing all the kids here. And let me tell you why. You know, after the film on, on uh, Wednesday evening, I saw Fernando, and I was talking to him about uh, the, the, the timeline as to when the events took place. And I asked him, I said, you know, I remember, uh, I, I believe it was in 1972, I must have been six, nor must have been seven, and my parents took us to this convention in Fresno at Salandarina. 